Well, new tonight on Fox 4, a new bill in the Florida legislature would ban permanent alimony, something many states have already done. Fox 4's Rob Manch spoke with two people on opposite sides of this issue to learn more. He has their stories from outside the courthouse in Fort Myers tonight. When judges hear divorce cases in courthouses like this one, they have to make a decision. How much will one partner pay the other after the split and for how long? In a small percentage of cases, judges choose to make those payments permanent. It's something one woman tells me helped her live a normal life, but another man says it brought him to the brink of suicide. After Christoph Leibrecht and his wife split, he says the judge's ruling was devastating. What they want is 10,300 per month permanent alimony. It's a cost Leibrecht says he had no way of paying. And after draining his $2 million inheritance, Leibrecht says it wasn't enough. Well, the lawyer needs $55,000. Um, you have a $55,000 perch. So they took my house. 12 days in jail is what Leibrecht says he got for not being able to pay his court-ordered alimony payments. Now he lives in Maine, where he hopes lawyers won't come after him. This whole process literally did bring me to the brink of suicide. Senate Bill 1922 would not only make permanent alimony illegal, it would also cancel Librecht's payments retroactively. But I also spoke with Jan Killily, who says permanent alimony actually saved her after her divorce. I was married 25 years and gave up a career to raise a family in a traditional marriage. Killalee started a website advocating for women like herself. She doesn't want the bill to take away the payments that helped her rebuild her life. I know how difficult it is to reinvent yourself at 50 years old with a 25 year old resume. And this bill has been through the Florida legislature before, and it was even vetoed by then governor Rick Scott in the past. Right now it's being heard in the rules committee. In Fort Myers, Rob Manch, Fox 4.